So before we get started and try Django 1.9, there's a couple things that I wanna mention that you do prior to actually doing anything in the code. Now, the very, very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is watch the system setup. Now, this is system setup for Django and Python, depending if your system needs it. And we're gonna be using Django version 1.9 and Python version 2.7. We'll talk about the differences between the versions of Python as well as the versions of Django in a later video, but I wanna make sure that you go to the system setup to actually install these things. Now our YouTube channel, a shortcut is not going to youtube.com, but just typing out joincfe.com slash YouTube, and that will take you to our channel's homepage. Just makes it a little bit easier to actually find our YouTube channel. And then again, if you scroll down to system setup, this will always be on the main page. System setup will always be there. So with saying that we have the system setup, we also have a guide to help you with this system setup from our GitHub account. Now you could go directly to github.com slash coding for entrepreneurs, or you could do join CFE slash GitHub. It's gonna take you to the exact same place um, and you're gonna wanna click on the guides. So if you, if for whatever reason, the guide's not in the popular repositories anymore, you can just click repositories and find or search for guides. Now, of course, it's just slash guides and that will find it as well. Um, so these guides have a variety of things, but one of them being, at least for us right now, is the installation guides. So this is gonna be Mac or Linux as well as Windows. And it's gonna take you through step-by-step -step as a text-based guide for what you need to do. So like if I click on the Mac or Linux one, it just shows you all of the little things that you will need to do when you actually are working through the video itself. Um, and that's also true with Windows as well. So another important thing about the GitHub is this is where our all of our source code is going to live. So when, when I say source code, that means that the code that we write in the videos, we're gonna have it available for free, all open source, on our GitHub account under the repository of Try Django 1.9. Now, if you look at our homepage here, our home GitHub, you see that there's another one called Try Django 1.8. Now, after you finish 1.9, I definitely recommend checking out Try Django 1.8 because it's gonna cover different things about Django. It's just there's gonna be little slight things different in the versions of Django. But for the most part, it's basically the same. Um, and again, we will talk about that in a future video. Um, but something along the lines with seeing this repository is how the tutorial code works, especially because you're just now starting out. By the time you go to try Django 1.9, that actually repository will be should be filled up. There should actually be a bunch of stuff in here, or at least a few things in here, not empty like it is now. It's probably going to look a lot more like the try Django 1.8 um, repo, and you'll be able to see that there's tutorial code in here. So this code specifically is related to the name of the video that you'd be watching, and it's the code at the very end of that video. For example, if the video is called form validation or form validation is in the, the title of the video, you would click on this and this is the code that will be available at the very end of the video of form validation. So you could come in here and click source. Don't worry if you don't know what this means yet. It's okay. We're going to go through all this stuff. Uh, but you click on newsletter and you can click on forms.py and now you see something that's related to that actual form or what is done in that video. And that of course was form validation. So what I just showed you is essentially how you would be able to check your code against what we type in the videos. Now, of course, you could also just go to the final code, which will be on the main repository itself. And you can actually just come in here and see virtually the same sort of stuff. Right, so what I just did is it should be very close, if not the exact same to from what I just showed you, because we don't really go back and change our code a whole lot, or at least we'll try not to. Um, so there's that. Um, and then the last thing is we have, we are gonna be using the text editor called Sublime Text. So regardless of what you may have in, installed before, Sublime Text is what we'll be using. It works for Mac OS X, it also works for Windows. It's a very, very powerful text editor. Um, and it isn't free. Now, there is a free trial that, um, as far as I know, is still absolutely full value. Like, it, you completely use the entire free trial. Um, it's not restricted at all, except it nags you constantly to update. So, like, maybe every, like, 10 times you open the, the program, it will nag you to update. 
um, which is not that bad. But I mean, for 70 bucks to get this awesome thing that you can keep forever and they update it all the time. And there's just, there's so many really good things about Sublime Tech. So can't speak highly enough about how awesome of a program it is. And this is not an affiliate whatsoever. They will not work with me as an affiliate. So there's that thing there too. So this is a completely unpaid advertising and that is because they've made such an awesome program. Um, so anyways, this is the one we're gonna be using. Again, use that free trial if you need. Um, it is a very good free trial. So um, the last thing is, if you need additional help, definitely check out codingforentrepreneurs.com. This is our main site, and the shortcut for it is joincfe.com. This will take you here. This is our main site where we have many, many more in-depth tutorials. There's so much more stuff here than there is on YouTube. Um, that I definitely recommend that you check out if you want to go further in Django or in a variety of technologies that we actually cover. Um, and then also one more thing is the videos that you will see on YouTube will also exist on codingforentrepreneurs.com. So you can actually give comments or get co direct code feedback better on our website because we've designed it to give better code feedback um, based on how our commenting form works. So if you see Trijing 1.9 on here, feel free to jump on here and actually ask questions here because again, they'll be a little bit more dynamic than the YouTube questions themselves. But that being said, if you have questions on YouTube, feel free to post them on YouTube. We will try to answer the questions wherever they end up coming. Uh, but our website is just better designed for actually answering questions about specific code if there are any. Um, and another thing about our website is these videos will have a lot of the, all the same things that YouTube will have, but it definitely won't have any advertising ever on them. So that's maybe another another advantage of going to our website too. All right, so um, if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's uh, let's get started.